Hello guys, Sajir is here with a new video and in this video we will see how we can deploy a Laravel project from the GitHub repository to VPS directly by using GitHub Actions. In this video, we will follow these steps. The very first step is to create Laravel project. I already created the, the project. So I go to the second step and the second step is to create GitHub reposit, uh, private repository. So I already created this repository and this repository is already linked with this project okay with the with the blog project this project this blog project is open in is open in my vs code okay and I already pushed this code to the github just I need page refresh you can see my project is here uh, the third step is to push the code uh, you know I already did the port step is to create deployer.sh file okay so just go uh, you know just open your project and create a file deployer.sh and write this inside this file this deployer.sh file uh, you can you know you can give any name to this to this file but you know i call it deployer.sh these things are very important to understand the very first thing is i echo a message that i am deploying application then i run this command php artisan down uh, which actually turn on the maintenance mode of my project and if the if, if someone visit the project my website then the user will the visitor will see this message then i push the code from the github sorry i pull the code from the github and then I turn off the uh, I turn off the maintenance mode and then I echo, echo this message. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, this is this was the the fourth step. Okay. The fifth step is pull the code manually from GitHub to the VPS. Okay. Now I pull the code manually to I, to VPS from GitHub one thing which i want to tell you is i will use this domain in this in this video okay so this is the ssh of my of my vps so cd uh, html sorry cd api okay uh, this api this is the directory which is using by uh, this subdomain okay so i pull the code from github i write the command uh, i first copy the this is the this is the link i copy it then i write sorry i write i clear the terminal then i i write git clone and then the link okay okay as you can see it is cloned i delete this file index.html this is old file so i write rm index.html okay that's it the uh, the file is deleted i install the dependencies by running composer install sorry i should go to the to the to the folder first I, I run here composer install and it will install all the dependencies for me okay okay as you can see all the dependencies are installed and uh, if I access this URL api.marcata.com you can see the Laravel Laravel is up and running okay so sorry i should remove this okay now uh okay we complete these we completed these five steps but here uh, i think i should add one another step uh set up github action okay so this is the seventh and this is the eighth okay 
now i set up github action so for just open you uh, just open the repository this is the repository and uh, click on actions here choose laravel setup and then okay so i mean you know come to this section the laravel section and uh, hit this button set up this workflow okay so now for this section i copy this code from my another project okay this is my another project and uh, just i click on actions laravel and uh, i think here here is the workflow file so i copy this file and i paste it here okay okay so this file is very straightforward and very simple you know this is the action and this is job i think you will understand each and everything and uh, here you will enter the username the host and the password you know of your vps and uh, this thing is very important this is your file name uh, okay uh, our our path is api slash um, youtube dash vps this is our project path okay and uh, i think our file name is deployer that's it but keep in mind you will set the username pass username host and password okay uh, i commit this yeah i come i commit okay now uh i just i j you know i just click on i make some changes in in this sorry not here but uh in the resources yeah welcome here laravel uh, i just say github actions okay i just save and first of all i let me click on this action this button this will pull and push the code okay sorry first i uh, deploy dot sh and welcome file change okay that's it once again you know uh, you know i pull the code manually okay why i pull because i want to see the deployer.sh file here get pull origin master sorry i close this sorry this is invalid location uh, my location is war.peach www html uh, api and then youtube dash dash vps this is my location the project location here get pull origin master i want to see that uh, uh, clear that the deployer.sh file is here or not because that is very important the file should be here ls is it here uh, deployer.sh i think not here uh why not here yes yes not here
let me check why it is not here okay I tried again and uh, I run the same command again uh, get commit minus a minus m live changes okay and okay yes the deploy dot sh is here now okay so the last thing is let's uh, let us test that was what is going on okay two time it is failed you know the the action is failed the github is unable to deploy our code from the github to the vps because uh, the deploy dot sh the deploy dot sh file was not here, but I think it should work now. GitHub actions uh, for Laravel. Okay, it should work now. Change web dot welcome welcome dot blade dot php okay i push you can see okay it should automatically deploy now uh, if i refresh this page yes you can see uh, the action is now this is queue queued so it will take some time and you can see the status has changed to in progress if you click on it you will see that what is running and again the job is failed okay you can see this red red and cross means it is failed if i click here why it is failed uh, then you will see i switch scroll down i click on it here let's see there something like permission denied this means that uh, you know the github action is unable to run this file deployer.sh okay so what i should do i should give permission to this file from here from the from this terminal ssh so i give something like sudo uh, ch mood 7777 and uh, what is the file name? The file name is deployer deployer dot sh. Okay, I enter the password. The password of my VPS user. Okay. Now I try it again and hope this time GitHub Actions for Laravel. Very basic video okay Blade. now this time it should work save and commit okay sorry I commit and push the code and I hope this will work this time yeah okay now again I click on the actions and uh, you can see queued okay now the status is yes you can see this green uh, this green check this means that uh, it is successfully completed and if I look to the project here what I should see I should see this thing uh, what sorry this github actions for Laravel okay yes github actions for Laravel and now cool save your time cool cool this trick will save your your time okay now I only push uh, change 
and welcome file now as you can see i have i have made change in welcome.bad.php i commit and i push to github okay i'm not i'm not pulling here okay you you can see i'm not working in this terminal okay uh so what will happen i push the code directly i push the code to github and the github will push the code to my vps okay let's see again i click on the actions this time it is queued and this is my commit which you can see okay and this is running if i if i you can see deploying done okay and you know all the comments which i made uh, you will see all those here you know deploying application uh, application is now in maintenance mode you can see all those which i i wrote here okay you can see on github and if i refresh laravel you can see the change okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon